Hello. Welcome back to Zim Explore. It's Dr. Abstract. And in this Zim Explore, we're going to take a look at some of the latest NFTs we've been making, not from a code standpoint, but from more like a what can we make. All right, let's go to the Zim site now at zimjs.com. We'll go to the examples right here and under collections, or you can scroll down. Oh, it's not under collections, above collections, we've got NFT. So NFT is indeed a collection of NFTs there. And I'd like to take you through some of the last ones that we've been making. Uh, I think we showed the books before. Let's start with the op art. So we have a series of op arts. And by the way, we always have to remember that when we um, launch an NFT, sometimes it doesn't load like this. Ah, there it came in. These are coming from the interplanetary file system. And it just depends on which of the servers you get there as to how long it comes in. Eventually something will show up. Uh, maybe you have to refresh a bit. <laughs> So anyway, uh, these are wonderful. Th these are uh, so cool. They're op art done by Dan Zen, who's uh, another persona uh, of mine. And then, um, let's see, uh, we've then s split it up into a puzzle like this that you can do. And when it's done, it will tell you. Uh, let's see if we can get it. I haven't been concentrating here. Sometimes actually just using, using your... Uh, Peripheral vision helps with this. Where does that one go? Oh, it must be a top one, yeah. Uh, a puzzle, we're nearly there. Let's see, and yeah. You know, oh, see, I wasn't even thinking, and it just kind of went, and so once it goes in, then it scrambles a bit. So somebody bought this one, and now is selling it again for 60 Tez, these Tezos. That's 60 times five, which is $300, I think, which is a fair bit. Okay, let's close that one. No, I didn't close it. I What have I done? Just reduced it down. Okay. So we're looking in here. Now there's a whole series of those as well. That might be hard for you to find. We've got it in a couple different ways. Uh, first of all, let's go to the Crystal Clouds one here. So Crystal Clouds is coming in. By the way, these can also be opened up into Maximum, like that, and played in Maximum. This one was the one where you have to go through the clouds. You've never seen this before, and if you hit a cloud, oh, oh. Actually, it's not a cloud. That is the cloud. This is the cloud. If you hit the cave, eventually we're going to you know, be driven back, and we... Oh, we lose. So it's like a Flappy Birds thing where you have to keep on going on through. Um, you can find out all of them by clicking on this Dr. Abstract here. And here, here is a, a collection of NFTs. This is kind of weird. I don't know what's going on. I guess they're loading in. Um, but anyway, these, these ones that are moving really fast are, are also there. I usually look now with this tool called Hen Gallery allows me to get more information as I go. So that one's been sold, that one's been sold or collected. Um, some of these, like these two, which are in orange, have been collected and then put up for more money. And there's still one here for three Tezos. Okay, so continuing to look at uh, the recent ones though, we just saw the the Crystal Cloud. Uh, there's different editions on here. So there's um, one edition left for the four Tez on that out of three. So you can kind of gauge how they're selling or how many you've got. Let's go into Diminish Mishmash. So this is Diminish Mishmash, which is a puzzle. Diminish Mishmash. This is a mishmash of Bitcoins here. And the idea is to uh, diminish these. So you look at them and say, oh, I think these ones are the most popular. And if you click on the most popular one, then the second most popular one, and then the third most popular one, fourth most popular. Hmm. Oh, I got, <laughs> seriously, I got it wrong. Rats, uh, usually uh, I got it wrong right away. Usually you don't get it wrong near the end. It's a little bit harder at the beginning. Ah, oh, I got it wrong there. Okay, so that's Diminished Mishmash uh, again. And once you get it, it will, Give you a reward. Should we see the reward? I think we should be able to get there. Come on, let me concentrate a little bit. 
There we go. Greens, don't you think? Purples, yes. Oranges, yes. Blue. Oh, no! Seriously? Oh, I'm so klutzy. Hmm, that's a tough one. I think, oh, orange was wrong. Uh, yep. You're probably sitting back at home going, no, 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 not that one, not that one. Hmm, sometimes they... Oh, God, I got it wrong again. Sometimes uh, they change. your perception changes as, as you, you think you've got the next one, and then it shifts as, as you reduce these. Oh, my God, I'm having problems in the middle bit. Oh, my goodness, what's wrong with my concentration? I don't know if we're going to get to the end. If, the, if you get to the end, there's a wonderful surprise for you. I'd like to get there. Hmm, uh, what do you think? Purple or mauve? No. Yeah, I yeah I know. I'm just recording. Uh, I'm going to a movie, and I thought I'd record a quick one before my movie. But you know about movies these days. Uh, you get, you get there, and then you just sit in the movie theater for like half an hour watching ads. It just sucks. And now that we have seats seats provided, you don't really have to. I I don't know. I guess I can't win this thing because I keep on uh, fouling up. All right, let's concentrate. We're almost there. Oranges, definitely oranges. Mm. <laughs> I almost want to just count them. <laughs> it's these grays and then these ones. Yes! Woohoo! Here's the surprise. And this tells me 13 resets. Oh, Dr. Abstract's op art puzzles are easier. <laughs> so it gives you a little message. <laughs> 13 resets is the most I've ever done. So it must have something to do with the fact that I'm recording here at the same time, I think. All right, so that's Diminish Mishmash. Um... We did the crystal clouds. This one's kind of fun, although not terribly interactive. And uh, hopefully you can hear that in the background. This one's called a Bezier Bolero. And I really like the way that we can show the Beziers here. And it's a dance of these blobs. But the actual title, Bezier Bolero, is... <laughs> is from the interface in a sense so we've used the interface to actually do the title clever and then this speeds it up a little bit if we so desire isn't that lovely <laughs> i've seriously sat here and watched these things for the whole uh, the whole song Two at the top were dancing with each other for a bit. All right, so those are the Zim blobs, and we're animating, we're wiggling the, uh, the various control points on them to get this. Note that we're doing the scale of the control points, and what that does is it lets the curve remain smooth and yet also kind of uh, change. Otherwise, if you if you just move one, um, you're going to see a, like a divot or a bend in the blob. But um, this is a technique that we've done to make sort of smoother animated curves. We also do animated curves with noise as well, and that can make nice sort of like uh, wavy kind of things. All right, thank you. And then this was our first foray into sort of pixel art. Whee! <laughs> and it's, it's faux pixel art. It's not, it's not real. So what we've done is instead of trying to figure out how to make each pixel, you know, be in there, we've taken an emitter, emit these squares of color. But then over top of that, we've overlaid a pizzazz sh um, pattern one of, of pixels and we are not animating the pixels because that actually takes a fair bit of processing to animate thousands of those pixels uh, this is on the gpu but there's still a fair bit of processing involved and so what we've done is we've um, just rotated it quickly rotated it quickly and you can't really tell it's just all these sort of like by the time the square moves on the pixels have rotated in there uh, you can press and that stops it and we've called it something delightful like a candy cone or something like that it's almost like a whole bunch of candy uh, going out there so uh that is called 
Oh, what's it? Candy cone. Yeah, there it is. Hmm. Hmm. We did uh, another one of the puzzles, and then here's uh, one that we found. A, a colleague of ours on Twitter started talking to us. He, he does all sorts of these. His name's Quantum something. Let's have a scroll down here. Uh, there he is anyway. There's a link to him, Quantum Artist. And we've taken on a Quantum Artist sort of look here, uh, but made it our own in a sense. And we also did our own programming to figure out how to put a color around these. So you click and you get a new pattern each time. We'd like to do some more, so we've made this Quantum Target Ultra, and we'll probably um, bring in other other ones in the future with different colors or slightly different versions of the pattern and stuff like that, because we did go through a whole set of patterns, and this one is just cycling through keeping the same colors and keeping roughly the same sizes and stuff like that. So, uh, yet we have many other sizes to sort of deal with too, perhaps other targeting. So that was neat, huh? Quantum quantum target, we call that one. And then we did another puzzle, and then our final one here is a Happy Holidays puzzle, where these holiday balls <laughs> fall from the sky. And there's no real reason they fall from the sky. For some reason, I just woke up with a dream of, of this, you know, oh, maybe I wonder what this will be like. I don't know if it was in my dreams. And I call it Clumsy Claws, and that in a sense, gives it a story. So we open that up. This one's in the um, fill mode, which means uh, our proportions will always fill whatever you give it. So in the case of the square, that was in an iframe, and it just filled that square. But now when you open up full screen, it fills the full screen like this. However, there might be stuff outside that's missing, but we don't really care. We don't really care if there's some houses outside uh, missing because we're just moving the mouse around on whatever we've got here to make these holiday balls fall <laughs> from clumsy claws. Woohoo! So there we go. Uh, this has been a Zim Explorer. I'm off to see a movie now. So this has been a Zim Explorer. Hopefully that was fun for you. And we've taken a look before in previous explorers as to how to make the code for interactive NFTs and you can find that on the Zim site zimjs.com slash NFT. We hope you make some. Also come into Slack zim, zimjs.com slash Slack or zimjs.com slash Discord and we'd be happy to help you get started with this including even giving you a Tezo, about five or six bucks uh, giving you a Tezo so that you can mint your own interactive NFTs. I'm Dr. Abstract. Have a great day or night. Cheers. <laughs>